We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today's Friday, August 21st. And we are in Fort Bragg. And I'm kind of a little upset because I had a video for you guys about this woman who healed from hepatitis C with the raw foods diet. But um, I accidentally deleted it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interview her tomorrow. And um, in the meantime, since I don't really have a TV show, me and Angela are just sitting here on the computer after a wonderful day at Fort Bragg. Did you have a good time? Yeah. It's fun. A lot of people. Yeah. yeah. It's really wonderful. It's great to be by the ocean. It's cold, though. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, what we do, I do have a special video from the past of um, Daniel Vitalis, who is talking about the immune system. And this is just going to be part one or two, and we'll do part two at a later date. So um, enjoy the first half. Okay, so I got a question for you, Daniel. My question is, I want to know more about the immune system. Because, I mean, I'm under the impression, like, when, you know, you eat a good diet and you you get all this obstruction out of your body, you keep it clean and stuff like that, your body kind of just works well and the immune system works. Like, we're talking about feeding the immune system here. You know, I you and David talk about it and stuff like this. I'm just not, you know, educated in this. Can you, like, give me, like, I don't know, maybe some science or just details on how yeah. all this works? I just don't understand. I wish it was easy to sum it up in a nutshell. There's a couple of different things worth understanding. If we were talking about a UFO or a spaceship, we would be comfortable with, you know, if we were using sci-fi, if we were going to make a metaphor, if you had a spaceship flying through space, coming across all kinds of weird alien civilizations, to protect the ship, you'd want like a force field around it. Well, our immune system has built into it some kind of force field, because we're a being walking through this place where there's all these other organisms, and we have like a force field around us that protects us. Now, that's the initial part of our immune system. That force field is made out of a very specific bacteria. That bacteria is lactobacillus acidophilus. Here's an interesting thing. Most of us understand that we require lactobacillus acidophilus. A lot of people know that there's that, it's a probiotic. A lot of people know that if they um, ever been exposed to antibiotics, they want to get a probiotic. That's a good organism. The main one we work with is called lactobacillus acidophilus. Its name, if we break it down, interestingly means lactose, milk, bacillus bacteria, so milk bacteria, acid phylos, acid phylos, phylos means love or lover. So it's the milk loving acid bacteria or acid loving milk bacteria. Now that bacteria is covering us. It's all over us in addition to lots of other bacteria as well. When we come out of the womb, we're sterile. But the passage through the womb is not sterile. In fact, it's very wet and lubricated and filled with bacteria. That's meant to coat us as we come through the womb. If you've ever seen a baby come out of the womb, they're covered in bacteria. They're covered in like a slime. The first thing they do then is go drink from the breast where they ingest lots of bacteria. Here's an important point. This is key. If you can understand this, you can understand the whole thing about your immune system. Madam, I'm going to ask you a question. If I had a big intertube in front of me, an intertube like came out of a giant tractor tire like you'd float down a river with, and we wanted to get inside of the inner tube. If I step over the lip of it so that I'm standing in the hole, am I inside of the inner tube? No. And I'm still outside the inner tube. If I want to get inside the inner tube, I'd have to puncture a hole into it, right, to get right. inside. Even though there's a hole in the inner tube, that doesn't get inside the inner tube. From your lips to your anus is a tube. That tube's outside your body. Just like the hole in a donut, just like the hole in an inner tube is not actually inside the inner tube, when you put something through your lips and it goes all the way through the tubes, it's still outside your body. Anything touching your skin is outside your body. The only way inside your body is to puncture the skin or puncture the intestine or break something down so small that it can absorb through the walls of the intestine. But basically, your body is like a stretched out inner tube with a tube running through it that's outside your body. Your entire skin and the entire tube is full of bacteria. Now, second point you want to get. Lactobacillus acidophilus is the most aggressive bacteria in the world. 
So, if you're coated in this lactobacillus acidophilus and the whole tube is coated in it, no matter what organism gets on you, it gets destroyed by lactobacillus because it's so aggressive. It's like a force field that covers your entire outside and inside. Now, if we're washing ourselves in chlorine, if we're washing ourselves with soap, which is alkaline and destroys the acid environment that that bacteria lives in, if we over-alkalize ourselves, if we take antibiotics, if we weren't given colostrum, if we weren't given breast milk, if we've ever been sterilized, if we're drinking chlorinated water, those bacteria get killed. We lose a force field. If the force field's gone, stuff can get on you and break into your body. If it gets in your body, a second part of your immune system has to kick in. That's the white blood cells. Most people think of white blood cells as their primary immune system. They're not. They're the backup if something penetrates through the bacterial force field. The thing about your white blood cells is they're not that smart. In other words, they have a hard time telling what's an appropriate attack. Sometimes stuff gets into the body and they freak out. They go so crazy they attack your own cells. We call that autoimmunity. Sometimes they get lazy and they fall asleep and they don't do their job. We call that immunodeficiency. There are nutrients that can teach your white blood cells how to work better. Those nutrients are in the medicinal mushrooms like reishi. They're in chaga, turkey tail, the different medicinal mushrooms. They're also in things like aloe vera, to some degree in things like goji berries. Those nutrients, those glyconutrients, we call them polysaccharides, teach your white blood cells how to work better. If your white blood cells have been sleepy, they wake them up. If your white blood cells have been overactive, active, they slow them down. It's like an education for your white blood cells. So, two-pronged approach we want when we feed the immune system. One, fermented food. Two, oils on the skin. Why? Because oils on the skin create acidity with the fatty acids and bacteria can live on there. That keeps the force field strong. Fermented food keeps the force field strong on the inside. So our first approach is we want to feed the force field. Second approach is we want to use the foods like medicinal mushrooms that wake up and teach and educate the immune system. Those two things will give you an immune system that's impenetrable so that you actually sort of become invincible. You become impervious to disease. Now here's the thing, we're living in a time of plague. We might not think of it like that, but 50% of people die of cancer, it's a plague. 50% of people die in a heart attack, that's a plague. The flu stuff that's coming up, all these issues that are coming up in culture, you can literally become fearless about those things by fortifying your immune system. Where do we start? We start with cleansing. That's where we start. After a time, we start thinking about these other things, building up the immunity. That's why we do the medicinal mushrooms. That's the value of fermented food um, because we can end up literally cloaked in invincibility. And you can do that with nutrition. Do you think aged garlic extract is really good for immune? I think aged garlic extract falls into a separate category. People get confused here. What is garlic? It's an antibiotic. When we hear garlic's good for the immune system, why? It's an antibiotic. Well, what's the value of that? If there are bacteria that we need to kill off, we'd want to use things like garlic because it's antibiotic. But we only need things like aged garlic when something's already gotten to us. How do we keep something from getting to us? The antibiotics only work once we have the infection in place. What we really want to do, though, is get where we don't need the antibiotic because we have the force field. And part two even gets better, and we'll get that to you at a later date when sometime we mess up and we delete a show or something, but we will get that to you, guaranteed. A lot of people have been wondering what happened to the last spring water Daniel Vitalis video. Well, um, that was pretty much the end with Angela. We didn't really do much more after that, unfortunately. I guess we just kind of, I just wasn't filming. So, um, unfortunately, that didn't happen, but I can tell you that he just put it in his glass bottles. Me and Angela were drinking straight from the spring by dipping our heads like an animal um, into the water and drinking it up with our own tongues and stuff. That was a giggle chop, wasn't it, Bobo? It was. Were you drinking with your tongue? Yeah, straight, like, like a dog or <laughs> a horse. Okay, so everybody, we're going to be in Fort Bragg tomorrow. Do, I'm going to interview this woman that healed herself from hepatitis C 14 years ago and is now thriving and hasn't had any symptoms ever since then. And we've got... Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. And we'll see you tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV. Show. Thanks for joining us for
see you again at the Raw Food World.